So you've been keeping up with any TV? Ah, yes. I've been catching up on the new Game of Thrones. I quite like that show, especially the perfect wigs, and quite like watching Doctor Who kill people for once. Are you all caught up on the House of the Dragon? Eh, uh, no. I mean, the old show ended so poorly, plus we got Lord of the Rings, too, and, like, I don't know. I just kind of want to wait for Winds of Winter to come out before I dive into a prequel. Well, I can assure you, Winds of Winter will never come out. <laughs> I mean, t t I totally get the cynicism, like, everybody shares it, but I'm sure George Martin will release the Winds of Winter eventually. Oh, no, I mean, I made sure that the Winds of Winter will never come out. What? Uh, explain. Well, all right. Contrary to popular belief, George R.R. R. Martin finished writing Winds of Winter exactly 32 days after he started typing. Fuck. I myself, an avid Game of Thrones reader, found out he finished the manuscript, paid him for it, and made sure it would never be released. It's a much better book. Bran even dies at the beginning, thereby preventing him from becoming king in the last book, which I also have and will also not be releasing to the public. God damn it! Whoa, that was high-pitched. Have you been saving that one? Do you realize how long people have been waiting for Winds of Winter? Yes, since 2010. Fuck you, man. Watch your language. And I will make a compromise, which I rarely do. If I make enough money off of this next commercial break, I will release the manuscript to the Winds of Winter on um America, the podcast dot com. Will that work for you? Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, no, man. It hasn't even been three minutes. We're not going to commercial yet. That's what you think. It's been several months since I've been on the air and I need some pocket cash. We'll be right back. What the fuck? Man, we're back. So, shall we begin our journey to the American frontier? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Let's do some time traveling. Very good. The year was 1801, and, um, where's the sparkles? Uh, hmm. Uh, maybe with more bravado. Uh, the year was 1801, and... What the hell? What's going on? Well, my storytelling time travel abilities do not seem to be working. I can't figure out why. So we can't travel back to, what'd you say, 1801? Indeed. Not until we figured this out. Uh, okay, um, what if we used, uh, Christmas magic? Ta, I wish. I only receive a finite amount of Christmas magic now that the communists are in charge of the North Pole. We need to save every little bit I have in case we find ourselves in some sort of Christmas adventure this year. Well, shit, man. I mean, what do we do then? Well, for the first time in 246 years, I do not know. I mean, the only thing that would cause something like this to happen would be... No, that, 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 that's impossible. I mean... Why would they vote against me, Thamadius A. Stard, the embodiment of an only hope for America? They, they just wouldn't do it. Would they? Oh boy. I, uh, I need to make a phone call. You take over. Me? Take over? Wait, what? What? Just vamp or something. Uh, I don't know. Talk about your other shows. Yes, hello? Uh, okay. I mean, it, shit, if it's... If he's having me do this, it must be bad. Um, all right, other shows. Um, well, we have America the Conversation coming out, hosted by me and America the Podcast writer and political activist Andrew Turner. Um, we'll be coming out around the same time as the new season if we ever get to recording that. Um, it's a talk show, no, um, political conversation, not billing. Um, Repre and no, not it's going to be fun. Representative. Ah, oh, thank you. What is happening? I kind of want to, I need, I think we need to know about this. Goddamn automated systems. Yes, hello, this is Thebediah Stard, embodiment of America. Yes, the United States of America. No, not the continent. Yes. Yes, I, I need to speak with someone in charge of the voting system. Yes, the embodiment voting system. Yes. Yes, well, I have been voted against, clearly, because I don't have my powers. Well, I need to know who voted against me. Why can, why can you not tell me who voted against me? One, so it was one person and you can't tell me who that is. I need to speak with them to find out why. My very important show, that's why. I need my powers. I am the embodiment of and only hope for America. Do you know, do you understand that? God damn it. Well, who, who can I speak to? I need to speak with your manager. You are the manager. Of course you're the manager. All right. Well, so th is there anything I can do? What? I have to go, I have to go to them individually? My God. Do you realize how long that will take? America needs to hear about the American frontier. <laughs> So 
that's just it. I have to go to each embodiment of the states individually. But... You... There is nothing... Do you have a manager yourself? You must have a manager yourself. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We, we, we got up on the wrong foot, clearly here. All right, my name is Thebadias, and your name is Denise. Nice to meet you, Denise. Listen, I just need to speak with somebody so that I do not have to travel to 50 states and six territories and interview each embodiment of those places. My time is very valuable. Because I'm the embodiment of America, that's why my time is valuable. So, th so there's just nothing I can do. You have been a delight, Denise. An absolute delight. Ugh, God damn it! This is gonna take forever. Uh, you know what, America? We're gonna go to commercial, and I'm gonna see what the fuck happened and have him explain when we come back. Um, uh, maybe, maybe money will make him happy. Um, we'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, so, Feb, you wanna talk about what just happened? No, I do not. Well, man, you're on a podcast, and it's either you talk or I talk. All right, fine. Save your whiny voice for America, the podcast presents America, the conversation. That's not what we're here to talk about, man. What just happened? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just, I'm in a bad mood because I had a wonderful conversation with Denise at customer service, but, um, okay, um... You know how I told you that every state has its own embodiment except less powerful than yours truly and obviously less important, correct? Uh, yeah, you mentioned that before. I said I wanted to meet the embodiment of Texas at some point, um, but what's the deal? Well, since America is a democracy, every ten years the embodiments themselves vote on whether or not to keep me as the embodiment of an only hope for America. However, this time that they voted, one of them voted against me, thereby making my powers inert. That being the case, we need to now go from state to state and interview every single embodiment to see if they voted against me, and if they did, convince them to vote in favor of me to keep me as the embodiment of an only hope for America. Shit, so you're completely powerless? Well, not entirely. I still have my immortality, of course. However, my time travel abilities have been switched off, as it were, and all of my bank accounts have been frozen. All I have in my wallet is, uh... uh like two million dollars? Chump change. All right, man. Well, between the two million in cash that you have and the 500,000 I have stashed away, like, we'll be good to get around. As for lodging, I mean, don't you have, like, an estate in every state? Indeed. As well as every country on every island, both charted and uncharted, and an underground lair on the moon. I'm the actual inspiration for Lex Luthor, albeit I have much nicer hair. And, well, hair in general. I also have an arsenal of cars. Well, man, then you're thinking about all of this in the wrong frame of mind. This means we get to go on a road trip. What is a road trip? Are you fucking kidding me? It's where you travel across a, a, a country or land and see it. I mean, this is perfect. Why don't we just learn about America, the 50 states and six, six territories? That seems like a lot. Um, God, why don't we just make them states? Whatever. Um, we travel across the country and the territories learning about it before we get to the frontier. I mean, we'll have to fly to some of the territories because they're all islands, but, uh, I mean, what do you think? Well, I think that that is a fantastic idea that I came up with. You didn't come up with... You know what? I'm going to give it to you. You've had a bad day. Thank you. You've heard it here first, America, from me and not Tim. America the Podcast is hitting the road for America the Podcast presents... Are you going to say it with me? Say what? Oh, well, I thought we could say it at the same time. Road trip, you know? Uh, yeah, okay, I guess, but you didn't prepare me for it, so, okay, just go again. Indeed. Um, okay, where was I? Um, uh, oh, yes. America, the podcast is hitting the road with America, the podcast presents Road Trip, a journey across America. Oh, right on, that sounded good. Of course it did. All right, America, don't forget to follow the show on iTunes and subscribe on your favorite podcast app and leave a five-star review where you can. You can also follow the show at America the Podcast on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok for America the Podcast content and videos. You can also follow me at Bastard Comedy and America the Pod on Twitter. And don't forget to check out America the Conversation. Thanks for listening, America, and remember to keep your ears peeled for America, the podcast presents Road Trip, a journey across America. 
I will be in your ears again soon. Don't forget to register to vote at vote.org. And as always, good night and good fight. Hell yeah, road trip. All right, let's start her up, dude. Uh, where to first? Ah, well, since we are going in order, we are headed to Delaware. Oh, all right. Uh, I mean, that's kind of fun. Uh, it's a pretty boring place, though, right? Oh, indeed, but we're going to make it very fun. Oh, right on. Uh, how? Oh, we're going to get ice cream. Uh, that sounds kind of cool, but it doesn't sound very fun. Well, there's tax-free shopping, too. That still doesn't sound very fun. Well, it is if you don't like paying taxes. Does anybody like paying taxes? Oh, absolutely not. All of your money goes to the military anyways. Yeah, we start a lot of wars. Oh, we don't need to start any wars. We can just go bomb any place in the world as we please. We're America, and we do so with your American dollars. Oh my god, what a wonderful, bleak start to this long road trip with you. Can we talk about something else other than American imperialism? I don't think I am able to speak on any other subject. Oh my god, just turn on the radio. All right, let's see what I want to listen to. Uh, ah, here we are. No, you can't play the Beatles, man. All right, fine. Let's just play this song instead. America, the podcast presents Road Trip, a journey across America, re-premieres in its new podcast feed February 15th, 2024, with new bonus content and some new segments here and there. Find the show on America the Podcast Presents on YouTube or iTunes, or follow the show on your favorite podcast app. You may also head to americathepodcast.com to hear this show as well as all of the other ATP Presents podcasts. Again, don't forget to follow or subscribe, and remember to America as hard as you can. For now, good night and good fight. America the Podcast Presents Road Trip, A Journey Across America was created by Tim Philippi and Seb A. Stard. For more information, please visit shwaymedia.com. Copyright 2024, all rights reserved. This has been a production of Shway Media, all rights reserved. For more information, please visit shwaymedia.com.